Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's a lovely engine in here that's been taken apart, but it's not mine. It is a lovely F82 M4 and we also have a beautiful M2 OG. Have a look at this. A nice little carbon fiber spoiler that's been painted. Look at the wheels, but more importantly, look at the robber. ADO 9s, this guy knows what he's doing. And also, we have a beautiful F80 M3 that was previously in for Crank Up. Now I believe it's getting some bits done on the diff. And talking of diff, this man is making a difference going on track at Race Wars, gaffing people, and we're gonna be doing that again very, very soon. Anyway, Tommy, how are you doing, mate? Very well, how are you? Not bad, not bad. What are we up to, firstly? Now, Tommy's extremely busy, so I'm gonna be fitting these mods myself. And the first one goes in the interior, not sure if you can guess that one. The second one you probably can. It goes in the engine bay. I'm kind of moving it around so you can't guess. So yeah, let's drop that off and see what else Tommy's been up to. Right, so uh, on this, we have had this in recently for servo motor repair. You know, the old clicky clicky. Mm -hmm. Clicky clicky. Um, yeah, and then it come back, had crank hub, mid pipe. Nice. Um, and we also know if somebody's doing that, had a really bad uh, differential leak on the input seal. Uh, so it's having new seal and the double bush mount conversion. Of course, the best um, way. And what about this bad boy, mate? So this one has had some maintenance work done on it. Mm -hmm. uh, just an all service and uh, rear differential. To be fair, it's got mega low moles and he just wants to keep the eye drive up to date. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's not had an hard life at all. Mm -hmm. um, and it's had some uh, bump steer correction shims in the... Okay in the um, control arms and the track rod ends. And actually, when you lower a car, mm -hmm. the lower you go, your steering arms, so this is your inside where your subframe is, and then my elbows being the uh, ball joints. Mm -hmm. So as you lower it, then you do that. Sure. So you've got shims in these ends, and it brings the arms back down. Oh, I see. Keeps them more level when the car's under But this uh, came into us with a top-end rattle mm -hmm. um, when it was warm, which is not usually what you get with the cam alignment. Mm -hmm. From my experience anyway, it's only from cold, you get like the, the excessive tapping, tapping ticking yeah. noise, you know, after five minutes, whatever it goes. It goes but yeah, yeah. abnormal wear on the cam and housing and whatnot. So mm. um, he's happy just to go with the standard cam alignment and put it back together. And because there's no uh, huge expense on camshaft and housing and all that, he's yeah. having the crank up doing so. No brainer. So now the exciting parts, fitting AliExpress parts to my BMW M4. And if you haven't downloaded the app, make sure you do, because you can probably find some products with up to 80% off. Now I'm also going to leave some links to the items that I'm using in the description, along with some monies off. So if you are interested in these products and you fancy saving some money, head over to the app, buy some bits, whack a code on, Bob's your uncle. Actually, Tim is your mate. <laughs> what we are doing so the engine bay on this is okay it looks lovely carbon fiber strut base carbon fiber intakes but this part here is kind of just a bit too bland now you can see what we're doing have it that is probably one of the easiest mods you could do on a car my two-year-old daughter could do it literally comes with the nice 3m tape peel it off whack it on and the fitment is love oh jesus is that lovely the fitment is lovely yeah let's let's do thumbs up instead again link in the description for some monies off this is a no-brainer engine bay 1010 next up we're going to be doing some interior mods, excuse the mess. And yes, I still need to get a carpet. You won't, it, okay, I'll tell you the story. It was winter, I think it was a couple years back when I first got the car. I took it out when it was snowing, bad decision. I then got stuck, so I had to take out the carpet to put under the car, under the tyre, to get some grip. It worked, I got out of the snow, but then obviously I ruined my carpet. So since then, I've not had any. If anyone has some carpets and wants to get involved, hit me up. <laughs> But yes, up next, we're doing these. These are something I've wanted to do for quite a while. Obviously, they are the clicky paddles, so listen to this. Oh yes, it's lovely. And of course, they are magnetic, so you can see the little magnet thing at the back. I don't know how it's gonna help, but look. 
yep, you see, it's their magnet. They really do work. But yeah, I really am curious to how these work because they are quite cool. Something else to note about these magnetic paddles is that they of course come with two types. You've got the shorter shifters there and then you've got the longer, both finished in a lovely matte carbon. And then you also have Le hardware. So when it comes to swapping them over, you've got different length bolts. And I believe these are the bolts that come with the original paddles. And I believe that these will probably be the ones that I need to use, but I will let you know in due course. But yeah, quality wise, is lovely and again you just can't beat that i'm hoping that's not going to become too annoying and i don't think it will but yeah in regards to fitting them as you can see just in here you just need to pull out these they're not they just clipped in pull that pull out that unplug that swing it out through there bolt it back in bob's your uncle So after a quick test, you can't use this screw. You must use the Allen key that comes. Hence why they give you the hard way. I was thinking while I was there. Two Allen keys, you got some bolts in there. Lovely. First things first, I have to apologize. My elbows and my sausage fingers were constantly getting in the shot. But what I'm trying to do here is get access to the blue plug that allows you to use the flappy paddles. Now you've got to disconnect the stock ones, obviously to then reconnect the new ones. And there's a little squarish hole that you've got to pull the connector through and then push the new connector on. However, it's not as straightforward as that because there are wires on top of the plugs. Of course, BMW are not gonna help us. So you've got to gently remove them, maybe take a picture so you know exactly how they were fitted originally and then do everything back in reverse. But those wires do need a bit of persuasion to go back in. That's why I was using the pick tool. But once all of that's done, you've got to use the new Allen bolts, as I said, to bolt everything back on. And once you've done that, it's loud. All right, so as you can see, we've fitted the paddles. I'm not too sure whether I go for these because these will kind of stick out quite a bit, bearing in mind that's the sort of angle they'd be at. Do I go longer or do I go shorter? Either way, even if I did fancy changing them over at any point, you can see it's quite straightforward. You've got two bolts just at the back there, just next to the magnet, and you just need to whip those out and then you can swap it out. So I don't know. I'm going to jump in the car, see how it feels, see how it looks, and then from there, I'm going to decide. Okay, so as you can see, we've gone for the shorter ones. Don't get me wrong, they are quite short, of course, but where my hand is always here on the track or on the road, I can easily access them. I don't think I need the extra girth all the way over here, but again, it's very easy to change out. You've got the Allen bolts just behind here, and you've got enough space there to put the key, turn them out, twist them, and then out they come. But yeah, in terms of interior mods, I quite like these. I can see myself doing this a lot. <laughs> okay, so wrapping things up, we have fitted the intercooler cover, which I personally feel definitely should have been there from factory. Because if you look at the engine bay, there's a bit of silver you can see over here on the oil filter housing and the thermostat. But other than that, it, there was probably no need because you've got nice little gloss black bits everywhere. And this, just really does complete it. And again, use the code here to get some monies off this because when I bought this from AliExpress, I was like, yeah, it's a no brainer. It's gonna come. The fitment is bang on. It's absolutely bang on. And for the price, it's a no brainer. Now moving into the inside, you can't really see them unless you're zoomed in. There you go, I've just zoomed in for you. Now you can see them. They look absolutely lovely. Again, there is a longer version, so I'm in two minds at the minute, whether I fit the longer version or this version, but in my opinion, this looks really, really trick. 
So there we have it guys, fitting AliExpress parts on my BMW M4. As mentioned, there are gonna be a few links down below in the description and in the pinned comment for you guys to get some monies off both the intercooler cover and the magnetic paddles, because they sound lovely. As usual, a big shout out to this lovely gentleman in there, Tommy GG Autos. So stay tuned, because we are gonna be doing another video with him again at Race Wars set in some serious times and hopefully i stay to the end because obviously last time he won an award didn't you tommy you won an award hey. so this time he's going to win another award or no, hey i love it he's never overly confident but he knows he's going to get people for fun so yes guys that has been the video if you have enjoyed it consider smashing that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you'll know when i let out another video and as usual give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you beautiful faces in the next one take care and god bless my hands are absolutely filthy raw my hands are black actually that's